Are you unsure about how wire mesh filter works and what filtering methods are out there? Well, in this video, we'll go over everything you need to know about the key terms and measurement methods of mesh filters. Stick around. Hi, my name is Henning and I'm the sales director for WS Tyler. There are a lot of pieces to puzzle when incorporating woven wire mesh filter cloth into your operation. Fortunately, WS Tyler thrives to learn your process inside and out and help you make sense of all the pieces so you can develop a filtration process that performs efficiently and exactly for your needs. So in this video, we will go over the critical filtration mesh terms you should know and the testing methods used to determine how a mesh filter will perform. The geometric pore size relates to the filter media ability to filter out particles of a certain size. For example, a 20 micron mesh filter will filter out particles with a diameter of 20 micron or larger. Wire mesh porosity is the amount of void within the media, which is represented as a percentage. And so the mesh porosity is directly connected with the achievable flow rate. Filtration efficiency is the mesh's ability to screen and accumulate either unwanted contaminants or a filter cake. This is directly affected by the size and shape of the particles, flow rate, solid proportion when viscous, the properties of the mesh and the other elements of your operation. Filtration efficiency goes hand in hand with the geometric pore size because the amount of retention you can expect depends on the largest particle diameter that can pass through the mesh. The pressure drop coefficient is the pressure differential on the input and the output ends of the filter mesh. Pressure drop is reflected as the filter's pressure loss coefficient and it is used to assess the mesh's permeability. Whenever you're implementing a new filter media, whether woven wire mesh or some other filter variation, it is critical that you are confident that it can withstand the workload your filter system throws at it without losing performance. This is why you should understand the many filter integrity testing methods typically applied when fabricating woven wire mesh filters. The bubble point test is an integrity test that is widely used to find the maximum pore diameter. A standard test requires a sample of mesh at a predefined tension that is being subjected to the wetting agent until the mesh openings are filled. Then pressure is applied to the dry side of the mesh until the first air bubbles begin making their way through the mesh. This bubble point reflects the maximum capillary pressure and can be used to determine the mesh pore diameter. The glass bead test is an integrity testing method in which glass beads typically made out of soda lime glass with a perfect spherical shape factor of one are screened through a mesh sample. The number of particles that pass through the mesh is cross-referenced to the largest particle diameter and determines the filter cut point. The flow measurement test is best defined as a test that can be employed to calculate the exact flow parameter of a filter. When working with woven wire mesh filters in particular, Automatic pressure drop equipment is used to gauge pressure drop of the mesh when subjected to a laminar flow of air. When a fluid flows through a filter medium, a pressure difference is generated between the inlet and the outlet side. This pressure differential or resistance to the flow is an important parameter to assess the permeability of a warm filtration media. The flow capacity plays an important role in evaluating the energy efficiency and cost effectiveness of a filtration process. The residual contamination analysis reveals how particulate material accumulates on the surface of the mesh over time. The test involves cleansing the surface of the mesh using a specialized solution and subjecting it to test fluid to be filtered. Using a microscope, the retained particles are counted and categorized by size. These particles are also organized by whether they are metallic, non-metallic or fibrous using an automated residual contamination analysis technology. A tensile test is an integrity test that is used to determine the mechanical characteristics of the mesh. This includes the elasticity, yield point, overall strength and the breaking point. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, fill out the contact us form so we can answer your specific questions. Just click the link in the description below. And if you'd like to learn more about woven wire mesh or our many products, we have a learning center filled with written and video content to make you an expert. Just click the second link and you will be an expert in no time.
And don't forget to click the subscribe button and ring the bell to keep up with all things WS Tyler. Once again, my name is Henning and I'll see you around in the next video. Bye for now.